What's going on, everybody? It's the Mad Hatter coming right back at you. <laughs> um, I want to discuss with you guys uh, Lindsay Lohan. She's kind of been going through some uh, different things as of recently. Oh, and again, it's a. Uh, I don't want to forget to do this, but it is uh, February twenty third, twenty seventeen. 9 12 p.m. Uh, so you know, Lindsay Lohan, the star of Mean Girls, the kind of wonder child Disney star, with uh, she played in the uh, Freaky Friday remix, but I can't even think of her damn name right now, which is kind of uh, pathetic. But you know, she, she had a lot of potential at first, uh, and then she went through some shit, uh, whether it's her own fault or not. You know, I think a lot of it also is Hollywood and that sort of situation. But anyway, you know, she went through some shit and she's kind of recovering, I think, a little bit. But before I even get into that, I want to talk about why she's in the news recently. There's many reasons, but the main reason is is that she says that she was racially profiled at an airport because of a uh, headscarf uh, that she was wearing. Uh, I'm probably not using the proper term, so, you know, somebody definitely correct me on that, but, you know, the, uh, what people of a lot of Muslim countries wear, what women wear when they, uh, you know, cover their ears and, you know, most of their neck. Um, so, you know, the thing is, Lindsay has been, um, looking into Islam. She got a Quran from her friend. And she says that, you know, she finds it very peaceful. Um, this is what she says. And so she was actually recently in Turkey with, uh, I believe, President Erdogan and a Syrian, seven, seven-year-old seven uh, Syrian girl who's actually been pretty popular because uh, she tweets, like, I think, uh, I believe she's tweeting from, she has been tweeting from, or she has in the past, tweeted from the uh, conflict zone. Um you know, it kind of gives the world a different perspective. So she's, she's gotten very popular for, you know, being like a live blogger. And she met up with, uh, Lindsay Lohan met up with her and President Erdogan because, you know, she wants to help refugees, uh, particularly Syrian and Muslim refugees, which is, of course, very controversial. Um, so, yeah, she says that she was racially profiled at an airport. Now, my thing is, like, is this just another example of a privileged white woman uh, taking on the cause of uh, other people and, you know, not living her authentic life as a, like that racial Dolezal woman who was the white woman who was acting black to be, um, uh, and she ended up being the head of one of the local chapters of the NAACP. So is this, is this, is this a case of that where Lindsay Lohan is is kind of going out of uh you know what she should really be doing and she's kind of taking it too far and trying to take on the struggle my thing is like uh possibly but my thing is always i think it's fine if if somebody of a privileged culture wants to understand more and use their customs you know understand more uh a, a different culture I, I think that's fine um as long as you're not appropriating it and using it for your own selfish reasons, you know, it's all about the intent. And I think that she's got her intent in the right place. And I think it's really interesting to see uh, her transformation. Now, let me talk about some of the things that she's done recently. Some of the things that she said. She also says uh, that she wants to meet with Donald Trump uh, because she wants the country to unite with him. She basically says, if you can't beat him, join him. But she's, she says that, look, man, people are being kind of dramatic. Uh, she said that in the uh, Piers Morgan uh, Good Morning Britain episode, whatever you call it. Piers Morgan definitely uh, asked a leading question to her. He you know, asked her, does she think that people are being dramatic? But she did. She said yes. She said, uh, I think people are being a bit, a bit dramatic. Uh, you know, it, it's, the reality is just Trump is a president and we should at least work with him, right? Which, which is what I've been saying the whole time, I'm not the biggest fan. She's not the biggest fan of Trump either, but we got to get past this throwing fucking tantrums all the time, right? Um, she's, uh, like I said before, she's been seen with the Quran, says her friend gave it to her. 
uh, and now she's considering converting. She's, she hasn't said that she's converted fully to Islam, but she's considering it. Uh, met with the Turkish president, uh, said that. Said she was racially uh, profiled, and you know now she's afraid to travel around the world, uh, especially to like uh, you know Western societies. Interesting, all interesting stuff. Um, now you know I want to wrap this up, but some of the stuff that you know I think putting this whole thing together is, I think it's I think it's amazing to see somebody uh, with a huge turnaround like this, and I'm like I'm always uh, glad to see people you know do do better with their lives and and have goals and, and things of that sort. Um, you know, she was really into drugs and really into really partying hard. But, you know, just because you're, you 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 go through that stage in your life doesn't mean you, you can't recover or it doesn't mean you're a bad person. There are a lot of good and smart people who fall victim to all sorts of uh, addictions. So let's look at it from that perspective. Uh, a lot of people will say that she's using her fame to get attention. Yeah, probably. But you know what? We all do. We all, we we it, I'm not saying we all have fame, but if we did, we probably would. And in to this to this day, if you don't have fame, I think you do a lot of things, and I do a lot of things to get attention too. I mean, I'm on the fucking this video is going to go on YouTube because I want to try to get attention, right? Um, you might comment on this or thumb it down or thumb it up because you want to get attention. I don't know, shit. Um. And then, like, for her to actually do something like this, which is pretty dangerous, uh, you know, I think it takes a lot of balls. Um, I think, again, I think she's expanding herself and she's looking at the world right now from a calm, collected approach, which I think, which I think is very important right now and we don't see a lot of. Now, I'm not saying that everybody should be calm and, and collected. You know, it's a balance. We need people taking different positions from all over the place, but I think she's playing her part well. Um... Yeah, and the last thing I want to say about this is, you know, who knows what this really is about. Um, it seems like she's doing the right things, but, you know, with her being a Disney child and a victim of MK Ultra, I'm not aware, I have no idea what this really could be. This could be some sort of, you know, Quintel Pro. Um, it could be anything, but... From the looks of it, you know, she's not really taking one side or another. She's taking a measured approach again. She's not, you know, fully into let's uh, allow, you know, Islam and that culture and that way of thinking to infiltrate the American way of thinking. And she's not saying that, you know, she's not saying fuck them either. And she's not saying I totally love Trump. She's just saying let's try to work together and let's try to expand and broaden our way of thinking. I think that deserves a bit of an applause. Maybe I'm wrong. Whatever. Let me know what y'all think. I'm out.